Hi, good evening everybody. My name is Shola. My name is Dr. Shola Izakoli. I am a medical doctor and a balanced living coach. I work with professionals to help you balance your life so that you can pursue your purpose with passion. Today though, I'm going to be talking about some quick tips for your fit to improve your physical health. Now, like I always say, there are five components to balanced living. That's your physical health, your spiritual wholeness, emotional, relational, and mental. The five pillars of balance. And um, Today I'm going to be talking about your physical health because guess what? Your body is important. The Bible talks about our bodies being a temple of the Holy Spirit and we have to take care of them the same way we, you know, take care of our property. And so in order not to get off track, I wrote the tips down so if you, you might see me glancing from time to time. So here goes. Number one, the first thing you want to do is set goals for your health. So maybe it's blood pressure lowering, maybe it's blood sugar lowering, maybe it's in, uh, increase in exercise. It could be weight loss. Whatever your whatever you want to achieve for your health, you have to set some type of goal to achieve it. After all, if you get the, when you get there, how will you know you've got there if you have no goals? So let's say you decide you want to lose a certain amount of weight, you know, release a certain amount of pounds, maybe 10 pounds, 20 pounds, etc. Or you want to um, increase your exercise, increase your fluid intake. So set goals and decide what you want to do. But remember, these should be small goals that you, you set over the long term. So for example, people say things like, eh, I want to get a summer body. Uh, that doesn't really work that well because these health goals are for supposed to be for your whole life so what happens after summer you just let it all hang out no so set small reasonable bite-sized goals for long-term improvement in your health number two replace soda and juices with water unsweetened tea soda is bad for you and if you've been to any of my conferences or heard me speak about this um i call it the uh, i i i call it the coca-cola conspiracy coca-cola has about a can of coca-cola has about 12 spoons of sugar in it and um you you really don't want that um uh, sodas they, they cause obesity they cause diabetes they cause kidney problems allergies as well so and then you want to replace juices unfortunately juices are not much better if you separate the juice from the fruit guess what that juice has lost its nutritional value and just pretty much became sugar water the 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 fruit is i think that's god's way of getting us to eat our fiber by making making fruits with sweet juice in it but um i don't think we're ever meant to squeeze all this juice out concentrate it and then gulp it down because you're getting a a, a a big shot of sugar all at once so that's number two learning to replace these juices and sodas with water now embrace number three embrace activity so um sometimes and i've been guilty of this i'll be sitting on a chair and i'll call my daughter from the basement to pick up the remote control that fell behind the chair come on what's that please embrace activity we need to move like um uh, the floaters, uh, the, uh, Michelle Obama says, let's move, embrace activity. If you go to the store, park a little further down so you can take that little walk at your office, park a little further away so you can walk. You know, you want to, you know, if you're cooking or cleaning, you can dance to tunes between if you're watching TV, when the adverts come on, you can get up and do squats, embrace activity. Um, a lot of times I, uh, we, we, we're far too sedentary and all of us could do with a little more activity because um, the typical lifestyle is a sedentary one. You get out of your house, you sit in a car, drive probably an hour, go to your office, sit, get back in your car. So where's the activity? So learn to incorporate activity into your everyday life. Now eat slowly. You know, you put down your fork between bites. That's number four. Eat slower. Don't rush through your food because when you rush your food, number one, you don't really enjoy it. You could get indigestion, and you know, you you eat more when you're you know scarfing away your food at, at your food. And you know, I'm very guilty of this. I always tell people, look, I'm sorry, I inhale my food. I went to boarding school where you had to eat fast to move on to the next thing. And then you know, I, as a resident too, you know, if you're eating once that pager goes off, that's it. So yes, I'm guilty of this and I'm one of those people that need to learn to slow down while they eat so you know and when you when you eat let's say you've you've had your meal wait a while before you decide on dessert because you might find you're actually really full and you don't even want dessert after all so 
Um, number five, try to eliminate as much wheat products from your diet. You know, we have a lot of wheat everywhere. It's in our soups, it's bread. It's Some people eat bread three times a day. You know, you eat toast, four slices of toast in the morning. You have a sandwich in the afternoon and you have a dinner roll with your uh, dinner. That's too much bread, too much wheat, get bloated and all that. And it's hard to lose weight if you're trying to lose weight. It's hard to lose weight when your diet consists of a lot of wheat-based products products to so try to eliminate or drastically reduce wheat products as well as sugar again to very hard to lose weight if you eat a high sugar diet number six 50 to 75 percent of your plate should be vegetables you make it colorful whatever vegetables carrots peas broccoli you need a lot of vegetables you cannot overdose on vegetables instead of having a lot of carbs and little veg have about half of 75 percent veg and that fills you up it keeps you full you have your protein and you have a little bit of carbs because it's a, it, it, you know the the less carbs we eat the easier it is to, for us to stay in shape or, or lose whatever weight we want to lose now number seven very important rest hmm you need six to eight hours of sleep per day just try your best to get it you know and if you can't well try to try to sometimes people give up too easily I think it's like okay how can I get instead of saying I can't get seven hours of sleep per day ask yourself how can I get seven hours of sleep per day maybe it's not watching the 10 o'clock news there's nothing good on the 10 o'clock news anyway so you know maybe it's you know there, there, there are ways that you can work sleep and rest into your diet additionally if you're trying to lose weight and you're not sleeping well you have an uphill battle so you know try your best to get an adequate amount of rest every night number eight a lot of times people want to that you know something good happens and you want to reward yourself guess what they reward themselves with an edible treat try to reward yourself with non edible things so that you're not eating 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 even when you're not hungry number nine drink water drink water soda is not water juice is not water tea is not water coffee is not water milk is not water you need to drink water a human being is 60 percent water the earth is two-thirds water maybe we're aquatic and we just don't know it drink water okay anyway number 10 last but not the least relax so you set your health goals you're drinking water da 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 I'm not eating sugar not eating weed I'm exercising every day and guess what? Sometimes life happens. We fall off the wagon. Guess what? Get up, dust off your butt, and get back on the wagon. Don't, don't have a pity party. Okay, you haven't worked out for a month. Okay, you know what? I don't want to hear. Just head to the gym. Okay, you know what? You've been drinking sugary drinks. Just stop. There's no point. Just relax. There's no point getting into guilt and shame when you do not meet the health goals that you have set for yourself. It's okay. Relax. Like I said, get up, dust off your butt, and get back on the wagon and just keep moving forward. You know, you will fall off the wagon. Think, think, life happens. Things happen. Sometimes you just, you know, binge on chocolate or whatever. But, you know, just, just relax. Just relax. It's not. It's not a fight. It's nothing to feel guilty about if, if things don't ex go your way the first time. You try, try, try again, and at last, success is yours. So um, rather long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, if you want these health tips, actually, they're on my blog at shalashade.com. S h o l a s h a d e dot com. So you can find them there. I posted them on the blog on Monday. Have a wonderful evening and stay blessed. See you next week. Bye bye.